Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 12th, 2022. Well, yesterday we had quite a volatile start to the day with the Dow dropping nearly 300 points before rallying back up to test some resistance in the chart. What does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, take a look at these index charts, see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today on this hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. Let's take a look at these charts. Boy, we had quite a volatile beginning to the day yesterday, which probably, um, well, made for a very challenging day for a lot of folks who had jumped in the day before, um, possibly even stopping them out on that ugly whipsaw. And you know, that's one of the challenges in this market right now, these big, huge point moves that we're moving in the market create an awful lot of risk for the retail trader. And it really invites high speculation and promotes some bad habits. Um, when we swing like this because we get that fear and that greed and that um, oh my gosh I'm missing out kind of attitude and that can create some very dangerous positions here particularly as we press against resistance levels and we have a massive amount of data coming our way over the next three days. Let's take a look at this um, chart here and see if we can gain some information. Now, right in here, I've marked this red line. That is a resistance level in the chart. Notice we're testing that this morning. We're trying to show that we don't care about any inflation data. We don't care, we don't care. And we're trying to pump that up pre-market heading into this inflation data that some folks are saying could be maybe one of the highest numbers on record. We'll watch closely for that, see how the market reacts. And unfortunately, we'll get that reaction prior to the market open. So by the time we reach the actual open of the day, anything is possible. And it's also possible if that number comes in hot, the market could just choose to ignore. We've seen a lot of that recently where bad news is just absolutely ignored for the idea of this high speculation that we've seen in the market. Now keep in mind, although this is a resistance level we're testing at the moment, remember we have additional resistance levels above that we'll wanna be watching very carefully if we do happen to push through. We cannot rule out the possibility with this inflation data that we slip south. And remember, these are big point moves, so it could be very dangerous if we get a, a number that the market reacts a negative to, we could have a substantial pullback or even whipsaw again in the market today. So watch carefully for that. Please keep in mind, anytime you draw a pattern like this and you, you see that possible wedging pattern, we also run that possibility that this could just consolidate through this wedging pattern right in here. So watch carefully. Remember, markets move in three directions, up, down, and sideways. And oftentimes we forget that resting pattern that can sometimes come into the market. However, a resting pattern doesn't seem like like very likely with this all or nothing market that we're in right now. Now, technically we have improved on the um, diamonds index and right now diamonds remains one of the strongest indexes in the market technically. And part of the reason is, is because that's where a lot of the defensive sector dividend paying stocks um, reside. And we've seen quite a rotation over into those sectors, those consumer staples um, right now um, as the market seems to be deleveraging from a lot of tech and moving into a little bit more of safety. So let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. SPY also rallying back up. Now this has been a very significant level of resistance and I wanna point out something here in this chart. Although I marked these areas as possible resistance in the chart, one of the things that's important to realize is that although we've crossed through, we have not tested any of those levels for support. So that's a challenge in here in the market. If we don't 
come back or rest or challenge any of those as support, it adds a lot of risk if we chase this market long. And particularly when we push into a level of price resistance like this, and notice we have done this a couple of times where we broke through and reversed. So keep that in mind. Could we see that gap up open this morning on that inflation data? Gap up open and then completely reverse the day. I think the possibility is there. And because of the big point swings in the market, it adds tremendous danger to the retail trader trying to um, speculate around this data. That fear of missing out right now is really, really strong. And we'll want to be watching carefully this morning as that data comes out. Now, if we can actually get out, if we can pop through here, get out and then prove this area as support, then, hey, all systems are go. We're back to the upside. Everything is green. Yahoo, let's get going. Um, if we could pull back into here and prove a level of price support, the same thing might be true. So watch that carefully. Now, remember, we've had an improvement in the technical damage here on this chart as well, crossing back above the 50-day moving average. But also keep in mind, it's not uncommon, okay? Not uncommon when we have a big sell-off low like that, we rally back strongly that we retest the lows. So we have not proven that 50-day moving average as support. So keep in mind, just because we've pu pushed up through there doesn't mean we can't slice right back down through. So make sure you're paying close attention to the risk that you take in trades and be careful chasing already extended stocks. If we take a look at the QQQ, let's take a look at this. QQQ, I placed a lot of these red lines on here. These were uh, potential resistance levels. You can see we sliced through these two uh, pretty easily here in the last couple of days. But keep in mind, we have a big level of price resistance here in the chart. And that price resistance level could be substantial, remembering that the 50-day moving average is still higher. We want to remember that. We are still below our 50-day moving average here in the NASDAQ. Notice that that 50-day moving average has started to flatten out and that our shorter term averages are crossing down or have crossed down through that level, creating a zone of resistance right in here that could be substantial. So keep an, a careful eye on that. As a matter of fact, I'm personally watching QQQ for the opportunity for another potential short if we should come up here and show that potential failure. Can't say that that's going to happen. I'm going to be watching for it though. That's one of my favorite shorting patterns is a failure underneath the 50 day moving average. So I will be watching that closely. But keep in mind as we approach these resistance levels with all of this data coming our way, could be a lot of volatility. We should expect pretty substantial point move whipsaws and even reversals that could occur overnight um, in a big surprise move. So. Make sure you're planning your trade carefully. Make sure you understand the risk of the trade. This is a very dangerous market right now. And then if we take a look at IWM, our Russell has rallied back here, but I gotta tell you, not, not so much to give you a whole lot of confidence here in the small cap. Notice we did hold this support and that is a good sign, but we still have a downtrend here in play we're below our 50, we're below our 200 day moving averages, and we may be running into, maybe by next week, our 50 day moving average could dip below the 200 day moving average in this chart. Keep in mind, we have a year's worth of price resistance congestion right in here as we try to rally back up. So watch that one closely. Uh, I don't think we're out of the woods here on the Russell. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX yesterday started up with that whipsaw that we saw in the market. Started up a little bit of fear coming into the market, but then quickly pulled back as that we recovered on the day. There's an awful lot of speculation um, heading into this earnings season. So watch carefully. We could certainly continue to push this market higher. And right now, I'm worried that the, the lack of fear with the wild volatility that we're seeing is actually a bit of complacency. When we move four or 500 points, and yesterday, think about it, the Dow 
moved a good 500 points from the low to the high. When we move like that, there should be a little bit of caution in the market and we're not seeing that. We're seeing wild speculation and hopes of, you know, this huge surge back. It, it could be true. It could come back. But oftentimes we see this as a measure of complacency as well. So watch that closely. Now keep in mind, we're still below that 20 handle. So no major fear here, no major problem in that chart. Just watch that closely. You would think, honestly, with the big surge that we've seen in the market, we'd actually see a bigger improvement in the VIX. So watch carefully. And then let's take a look at our T2122. I got to tell you guys, we are in an all or nothing market. Um, on Monday um, afternoon, on the at the bottom of the sell-off, we were right down here near the bullish reversal zone. And since that period of time, in literally a day and a half, we have now surged back up here where we are nearly at an overbought condition in the market. That's what I mean by an all or nothing market and a very dangerous market with the potential whipsaws that could occur in a market like that. So make sure you're planning carefully, you're protecting yourself. So we have a big number coming out here this morning before the market opens. If that number comes in better than expected, or if that number is ignored, we have a little bit more upside potential here in this um, in this move. But we have stretched these um, stocks pretty hard um, in a very short period of time. So you want to be watching for that potential of a stumble, a bit of a rest, a pullback, a consolidation, even a potential whipsaw could occur when we see moves like this. So watch that carefully up here in that bearish reversal zone. And I know you don't want me to be talking about that. I get it. But how many times has this been right, guys? Every time I show this and I warn of this, we eventually get that substantial pullback in the market. So you want to be keeping a close eye on this and not ignoring the signals of these internals here um, in these indicators. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now I have to tell you, T2108 is starting to show me a little bit of hope that the rally may actually be real. Now I am still concerned on the fact that we continue to push up, try to set new record highs in the market with fewer and fewer stocks in participation on that move. But I do like the fact that we pushed up through this uh, price resistance level here in the chart. And yesterday we proved to hold that. We pushed down and pushed right back up yesterday. So the big question is, can we actually continue to follow through with these stocks, get more of these stocks above that 40 day moving average, starting to prove a little bit better signs in the market. If we can get more participation to the upside, then that would be bullish for the market. And we're starting to show maybe some hints of that. But be really careful and cautious. A whipsaw could change that really fast. And then if we take a look at our T2107, same thing is true here. There is some encouragement in this chart in the fact that we found some price support in here and we bounced off of that price support yesterday. Now, albeit we are continuing to run in this downtrend, we only have 43% of our stocks above the 200 day moving average. And that is a problem uh, considering the fact how close we are to um, record highs, particularly in the diamonds. Now watch this carefully. If this were to push on through to that uh, that downtrend and prove to hold some higher lows, then I'm going to be changing my tune here a little bit and becoming a little bit more optimistic for an upside rally in the market. But until that occurs, guys, I'm still going to be a little bit careful and cautious watching carefully these resistance levels for those potential failures in the market. Let's take a look at T2101. Now, the market breadth yesterday was pretty interesting in the fact that we had that big um, move to the upside, that whipsaw. And notice that we have traveled back down. And this, this again, 
um, adds a little bit of bullish note to the market. We broke back down into this wedging pattern. Notice that breadth has sank back. That's typical when we rally, we see a declining breadth in the market because stocks typically take the escalator up and they take the L, um, the elevator shaft going down. But now that we're back down in here, well, we're going to watch this level in here to see if we start winding around in here. And that may be a little bit of an earning more um, early signal that a sustained trend could be possible um, coming up. So let's watch that closely, breaking that support. Um, in the chart and pushing back down, that may be a good sign. If we were to get that big ugly swing of reversal at these resistance levels though, keep in mind we could pop right back up here. So we're not quite out of the woods. There is reason for caution and there is reason to be paying close attention to this. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, um, what I've been talking about all morning is this CPI number. There's a lot of reports out there suggesting the CPI number may come in, in the, at its highest level so far. So watch that carefully. Um, um, the Econoday consensus is actually looking for it to decline. Um, maybe that's possible. Um, watch that closely in here. This number coming out an hour before the market opens means anything is possible by the time the market actually opens opens today so watch that carefully and then also i would keep an eye pretty close eye on this petroleum number today um, with the recent surge in energy prices this is a little bit of a concern um, as we come into that remembering that opac is going to be increasing its production here and with a high inflationary environment what we often see is the consumers actually pull back they stop spinning they stop doing the travel they stop uh, doing a lot of those things and sometimes you can see those petroleum numbers spike up unexpectedly um, because we have this pullback in economic activity due to the inflation and the high prices and keep in mind every time we surge in those energy sector stocks inflation goes up so watch that carefully and then we've got a fed speaker here today i don't know that that'll make much difference and i kind of doubt we'll pay much attention to either one of the beige book or treasury uh, statements today so yeah, yeah keep an eye on them but um, probably unlikely we get a whole lot of activity around that now as you're planning forward please keep in mind thursday morning we've got jobless claims and we have another key inflation data and honestly i think probably one of the more important inflation data um, aspects and at least in my opinion um, on those producer prices so watch that closely we're not out of the woods yet and then we'll hop right over here into the major bank earnings will start popping in here on Thursday so buckle up and get ready for um, this wild volatility to not only uh, continue to be wild but possibly even increase um, in its challenging um, moves here in the market as we run through all of this emotional data. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. Now our earnings calendar today, we have about 18 companies on the calendar um, uh, to potentially report, but we only have um, nine of those that are um, um, confirmed and just a few more of those that um, I would consider to be notable. Now, as we move into these earning seasons, guys, I'm not going to be able to cover all of the potential notables, and I will not be covering them all today. So please keep in mind, if you want to catch all the notables, make sure you click you click those links um, below the title of the video and that will take you back to the morning blog where you can see those reports um, um, this morning if you want that list. Um, notable for today, KBH. This will be interesting. Um, we're seeing home prices may be running into a little bit of trouble um, with the move in inflation, um, or excuse me, move by the Fed to become more aggressive on inflation. We could see home prices um, and home 
home builders maybe struggle a little. So let's keep an eye on this. Notice we're starting to move down here in KBH. Um, watch for that report today. It could be interesting. We're also going to hear from one of our first financials, Jefferies, and it looks like uh, maybe disappointed here just a little bit this morning with a big old whipsaw starting to happen here in the pre-market on Jefferies. So keep that one in mind. Um, SJR is also on the list and take a look at that. Boy, telecommunications have had a pretty big surge here recently. This may help them to continue to move to that upside. That is a big gap up here on SJR and a full breakout in that chart. So keep a close eye on these earnings events as we start to roll into that earnings season. season Remember, there's an awful lot of market manipulation that happens in those earnings events, and we could move substantially in the markets. Our valuations are extremely high. So if a company were to happen to stub its toe or not perform at the highest level, there could be some serious punishment um, of those companies. So make sure you're planning your trades very, very carefully and understand the risk completely in charts. So with that, guys, let's take a quick look at a couple of things that you might want to be watching for potential trades. But I got I'm going to have to move really quickly. So if you guys could just do me that favor and click that subscribe button, click that bell icon, make sure you post um, um, uh, click those thumbs up buttons, leave a, uh, a, a brief um, comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I truly, truly appreciate that. Let's take a look at uh, BBY. I was looking at BBY yesterday. Now this is right down here in the bottom of the barrel. Um, but I like this little pattern that we have here in Best Buy and that possibility of that higher low and maybe push through um, on that chart. Now this has got a lot of work to do. Notice it's way below its 50 day moving average. And what I'd be looking for here on a trade like this would just be nothing more than a push up toward that 50 day moving average. I wouldn't be uh, looking for any big um, uh, whopping changes here um, at the moment, but we're seeing some of these stocks react off of the bottom. So you'll want to keep a close eye on those stocks. You might want to keep an eye, as you guys remember, I mentioned FCX yesterday. I have talked about it um, Monday and Tuesday, and FCX actually triggered um, in that alert on the chart, moving to the upside, pushing up through here, and it looks like it's following through to the upside today. It went a little bit early ahead of this trend, so you want to watch that closely. We still run that possibility as we're extending out here that we could find those sellers and pull back into this trend. But watch that carefully. FCX um, looking pretty hot today. Now, one of the other places that I want to point out is a GLD. GLD surged hard yesterday. Been kind of an interesting price pattern here in gold and silver. Um, watch this area right here. Right now, I, I would say gold is not something I would be all that particularly interested in. But as we push back up if we can go through there and hold that level notice we've pushed through before and we couldn't hold if we can push through there and hold that might be interesting and notice we've got these little higher lows in here on that chart silver also doing the same thing we could also say the same thing about some steel take a look at us steel breaking this downtrend pushing up through here holding some higher lows we are underneath a bit of a um, resistance level in that chart, but let's watch for that opportunity. If metals are going to start coming around, that could be interesting. So keep a close eye on those. I got to say, um, I, I keep mentioning this Philip Morris, but I, I got to say, I, I love a chart like this where I place a price alert on the chart and the thing just performs and doesn't look back to the upside. Please understand that doesn't happen all the time, but I want to point out this pattern. This is one of my favorite patterns in the market. Um, we call it the tried and true pattern. And if you're looking for a way to scan for that, we actually have um, a tool out there. It's a company 
um, the name is Live Trading Alerts. And Live Trading Alerts, you can pick up a scan where we can actually scan for this pattern, breaking that downtrend, holding these higher lows. And these kind of profits are certainly possible when you see that reversal pattern and those strong moves to the upside. And we've been seeing a lot of that lately um, in like these um, defensive sector stocks with these big reversals starting to come here in the market and lots of them um, displaying all over the place in these charts. So keep a close eye on that. If you're looking for a way to find them, um, go to LiveTradingAlerts.com and take a look and see if that could be helpful for your trading. Um, so with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I also want to wish you to or ask you to be very, very careful and cautious this morning as this data comes out. Anything is possible. We could see some pretty big moves over the next few days. So make sure you're prepared for that and have a plan to handle that risk. I wish you all the best and I'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Take care, everyone.